we will all offer the prayer of meditation. Father of blessings, Father of love, Father of blessings, Almighty Father, you have told us to take the blessings that Jehovah has prepared. Help us to realize this dawn. What have I done that is wrong according to the word? Help us to realize according to the word and help us to receive the blessings at this dawn. By your help, we believe that our families will be happy. We believe that tomorrow will be better, that our children will do more well, that our families will shine, that we will receive the blessings to be witnesses to all the people. We believe that the word will be fulfilled. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen. By this dawn's help, may you do well. There is no one who wants us to do well like God does. You know, do you think we ourselves want us to do well? No, we keep causing ourselves to go the way of failure. So when we hate to hear something, it's because there's something crooked with me, not with God. The heart, you need to win over that most difficult time when God gives us blessings if we are a certain vessel we're born in us as a certain vessel God wants to give more blessings inside that dish but if it's too small he cracks it so when we're when we're cracked that's when we get upset and that's when we can't get blessings but because God loves us who does he who does he crack through he does it via our spouse because if it was someone else we'd want to sue them but with our spouse we still at least endure so via our spouse he makes us upset and that's when we're cracked when we're cracked where if we give thanks then we become a, a vessel of blessings but because of our pride which is where there is sin where there is demons we don't want to be cracked and we say how could someone treat me like this and you you bring up all your learning you act like you're you you know better so you say you want blessings but if we realize the 66 books of the bible it's not others who harm me, it's myself. Why? Because I have the sins of hating to retain God in my heart. I have the sins coming from my heart. I have the sins coming from my flesh. It's all me. But we always blame others. So that's how crooked we are. Philippians chapter 2 verse 4. It's all because of me. It's all for me. That's how you receive blessings. But you will not break that pride. Uh, that stubbornness so the older you get the more stubborn you become so the older you are but by the blood of Christ even concrete it can melt away that's why we can do well you know we think that we're so upright we all think that of ourselves you know we think we're proper and we think we're smart and we do the right thing we think that we love neighbors as ourselves but in reality we only seek our own profit if you want to see yourself properly you need to be able to see yourself from the outside in other words you need to you need to have nothing that belongs to you so as much as you repent this happens So that's why it's with the amazing mystery of Christ. If I don't repent enough, I keep trying to look after my own self. So, for example, I'll be like, "Oh, should I rest? You know, how can I, how can I make my be body, you know, better? Life and death belongs to God. But when I, without me realizing, I become God, and I'm like, oh, I might die if I do this.'" 
you know we're all the same and that's why we can't receive the blessings that God it wants to give so how are we going to live people come from afar every day the word is given even if you make the Sunday sermon yours you will live even if it's just one one of the word if you can do the whole weeks that's really good so even if you came to our church for a year you would have at least a thousand verses you have a verse from the morning then at lunch and then at, at in the evening so and even in the morning you get so many Bible verses so even if you don't go the three four theological college if you attend for two three years you have two thousand verses via how you can receive blessings you know how can that compare to many of the pastors out there but why is it that you can't receive blessings because you don't make any of the, these Bible verses yours instead you hear it and you just put it away so because you don't have obedience to the word you don't have any wealth obedience is your portion so you think about obeying but for your f for your flesh to actually follow and obey will take three four years like Jesus and his disciples so if we just repent fervently without me realizing I become someone else I become someone that he has entered into and then we end up obeying and that's when we get blessings so until we receive these blessings you know if you still feel upset within your family you're still alive that means you haven't been baptized only by forced repentance can you be trained into baptism so once you've received baptism that's when this word becomes power before that you're a Pharisee there is no workings of this word that's 1 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 13 so why is it that I know so much of this word but there's no workings because you haven't been baptized you are full of your own logic and your own selfishness and and your heart is stony where you say oh why should I believe that you fall so easily or you so you become the stony ground or you become the thorny ground where you say oh it's going to cost too much so that person they have no fruits they have no power so you have to quickly realize your heart and when someone says something to you that is shaking you you need to realize you're being tested to see if you have a stony ground as your heart if you just leave that alone you will ruin your life you will lose the faith every time you have a crack that crack changes to to cement and then you end off listening to sermons that are curses that's Galatians chapter 1 verse 6 so it's that says how do you how can you so quickly depart from this gospel so that person has no joy someone without joy they're filled with greed so they say yeah it seems right here but because they don't repent they sit here with their stony hearts so what do they do all they do is grumble and complain when other people are receiving grace because they're crooked because they're not like with like they go off and and that's why they get disasters and accidents in their family and then in the end the person that they love the most because God is jealous he takes that person away so it's only when you are completely broken that's when you come to hear the word by then it's too late you've you've been punished and you know you've had things taken away 
even then though it's it's better than if you don't come at all so let's read Luke chapter 6 um, we're just going to read a few verses but later read the whole chapter it talks about forgiving others it talks about not judging others so you think that you're not doing well but God will make you do well inside of Christ it's not that you're not doing well you're you're moving towards it so it may seem like your children are obedient but if you are crooked they're not obedient they're doing other things behind your back that's why you'll end up saying oh I was deceived if I act like that in front of God that's the way my children act so God is saying don't end up like that if you hate to hear God's word you know these fake Christians they're the ones that that try to to use these manners and and that more than anyone else but if you have if you have evil you need to be pierced in your heart so that you shed tears you have to say severe words for that evil to depart when that word becomes yours you will be blessed so I'm when I get to the point where I'm so weary I'm so filled with fatigue you know God gives me strength and I and I taste the best of happiness if you haven't tasted of it you don't know but when pastor no curses me at dawn you know she calls me a dog and I don't feel anything if she calls me a dog I say Lord I must be departing from the faith that's why and if anything I feel thanksgiving I don't feel upset in any way if you've never tried this then you won't know so if I'm at that level why is it that God's using someone to hit me like that because God knows that I'm going towards the wrong way you know if you see one of your animals walking towards the edge of the cliff you actually go hey and you and you hit them so that they they won't go near that cliff you know you're a fake if you say hey I haven't done anything wrong why am I being hit you know God's word is truth Matthew chapter 19 verse 45 your know, spouse truly are one so when you do foster repentance you taste of that happiness God is so amazing. So, God is so amazing. Before I used to be very, very picky, but now it's all about giving profit to others. So when you stack up the prayers at dawn, Jeremiah chapter 25 verse 34, it says, God, he, he only gives when, when a certain level has been achieved, whether it be punishing or blessings. So don't mistake his waiting as as you doing the right thing if we keep repenting God will pour out his blessings there is no disadvantage with God so he gives you unlimitedly may you your children receive these blessings Luke chapter 6 verse 37 to 38 even the word that he's given us so far it's so amazing we have to keep eating it let's read verse 37 do not judge and you will not be judged 
So in other words, it's saying you reap what you sow. And do not condemn and you will not be condemned. So God's word even now is living, is working. So who does it work in? Those who believe. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 13. Who is it that believes? It's not just by words, but someone who, whose actions have changed. James chapter 2 verse 17. That's a living faith. So the help of dawn. Who is it that prevents you from going to dawn service? It's your own flesh. So don't lose against that. Instead, you say, I'll go there and die. So if you do, if you are to the point of death. So I tell you how sometimes my fi I can't even move my fingers, but I cry and I cry and I crawl out here. So even my wife who sees that she can't understand. So I know that you couldn't understand. You know I seem so normal, but I don't have a drop of strength. I cannot get up. And then after a little bit of time. A little bit of time's gone by, he makes me like this. So God is eternal. We have to be eternal. That's that's our biggest weakness. So, you know, we are different in the morning and in the evening. But as much as we repent and change, he gives us blessings. So there's no disadvantage. We will do well. So do not judge. Do not condemn. And you will not be condemned. So this is all saying we will reap what we sow. And pardon and you will be pardoned. So the word tells us to do this. That when we say, oh, I won't judge. I should pardon. That means you're someone who's actually committing these sins. If you do forced their repentance, it happens automatically. You don't have to decide to do it. When you say, oh, I feel bad about it, but I'll still forgive. That's your fake. You haven't repented. If you continue to do forced their repentance, you don't say, oh, I feel bad, but I'll just, I'll just endure and I'll forgive them. No. Whatever someone says, it, you know that it is unjust but you don't feel anything and if anything you feel thankful so if you do force your apprentice all of this happens automatically verse 38 give and it will be given to you and love continues to come out how how could you love someone like that but it does and you become someone who gives. You know, it's not about giving money. Jehovah has prepared blessings for them. If you want to give money to someone, you have to repent a lot. At the beginning, I thought that helping, giving was with material things, but it's not. God has prepared their blessings. The way I help you know, how, how many times do you think I can help? How much do you think I can help? It's not me helping others, but it's to, you know, if they're about to die, if they're, if they're starving, yes, you should help then. But it's not me that gives you God's blessings. It's via many, many places. I can't be with you 24 hours. You know, via this crow, all, all sorts of places, God's prepared your blessing. It's not me that can give you the blessings. And that's why. Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 8. If you help with your, with your lusts, then that's really dangerous. So, before material blessings, you... Jesus, he gave his love when he was on the cross. He didn't give, he didn't go out giving money. You know, on the cross, he didn't say to the thief, oh, take money from my pocket. If all he gave was love. Material blessings can be one part of that love. But this heart of giving, we need to keep giving this heart to our spouse. So without this, this word of truth, 
we would be like, oh, you filthy person. I'm only staying with you because we have kids. You know, even people who go to church, that's the way they live. They don't want to give. This is why we didn't do well. We have to keep giving love. You know, there's no disadvantage in giving love. No one ever says, oh, I gave all my love and I've got none left. It's not something that runs out. There's no disadvantage. The more you give, the more good, thing, good things come back to you. When God says give, we say, Ah, oh, if I had something I could give. But love, it's unlimited. You know, the older people are here, have you, have you run out of love just because you're older? No. We just have to keep giving. No one hates to receive love. So now let's give freely. So give and it will be given to you. So what you give, it will come back to you. You look at people who don't have um, popularity. They don't give. They only think of themselves and their families. You know, I I keep giving and that means via this crow over there I receive. You know, love is there is no limit. You know, you can't say, Oh, I had a hundred of love by lunchtime I've run out of it. So starting with your families, let's give and receive blessings. They will pour into your lap a good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over. So you need to realize your blessings won't be taken by someone beside you. If anything, God will press it down into your pockets. So because we have love, we are rich. Later that love becomes material blessings and fame and our children doing well. But we just only try to look after our own families and even that we don't do properly so God knows this and this is why we don't do well God knows all so let's be people who give for by your standard of measure it will be measured to you in return So everyone has love. We have unlimited love. But true love is only inside of Christ. Outside of Christ, we say, because you're my spouse, I will love you. No, that's not true love. That's worldly love. And that, it's not genuine. You know, when you get married and you go on your honeymoon, you think you love, but then you come back and you start cursing them. You know, you curse them inside and you think, oh, is he going to go have another affair? And you curse them inside. So that's why. You can't give love. But inside of Christ you have sincere love. Whether it be your spouse, your family, your neighbor. Whether they misunderstand you or not you give them love and when and as time goes by they will know so it's because you it's they only misunderstand because you don't have the genuine love inside of Christ true love comes back as blessings so Joseph he was a servant in a, another person's house even though he may have been beaten by the other servants because he still had sincere love it all came back as blessings to him so that's why people talk about popularity blessings you know if we sh give out that true sincere love of Christ then we do well our children do well let's live like that Let's receive 
blessings. Let's become rich. Don't say, oh, I need to have something to give. I need to know something, learn something to share. No. Why is it that you don't receive blessings? Because you're not giving this sincere love. And that's why in the world they say, oh, I help that person so much and, you know, this is the way they pay me back. If you experience a lot of that, you end up not helping others. If you help others, there's a, there's a saying. If you help others, they end up um, returning with evil. But if you do it with Christ's love, it will come back to you as blessings. So how precious is this four-step repentance? Let's be victorious. Let's give to others. So whatever business you're doing, if you do that, you it will come back to you as blessings. So when I meet people, I say to them, you know, believe in Jesus. Some people, they'll go, oh, you know, and they don't want to hear it at all. So that would be like giving pearls to pigs. So I don't say anything. That's Matthew chapter 7 verse 6. But those people who listen, I say, You know, if you keep asking for forgiveness of sins, and then as much as you can help others, as much as you know, share with others. And so, whatever your whatever business you're doing. You end up, if you live honestly, you end up becoming the owner. May we receive these blessings. No matter what anyone says, let's be witnesses of the word. If you can't even love your family and you say you love others, that's a lie. So to be blessed, we need to give. It's not talking about giving money. If we give love from our hearts, God keeps making you give. If you look at Pastor No, without people knowing, there's so many people who receive their help. You know as time goes by. She gives so much. She comes to me sometimes for for permission. But you know, just she gives large amounts of money you may think oh I wish I received that but even better that than that is to receive love so God gives amazing things only to those who give out true love So when we give sincere love, in the end, he allows us to also give out material things. If we can ride a tricycle, then soon he'll give us a bicycle. So God, he's prepared everything for us to give. He's not a God that says just give. If we first give love, then later he'll allow us to also give out material things. Let's all pray. Lord, how have we lived so far? Everything, all love, we calculate and we put conditions on it. Help us to be forgiven of this wrong love, whoever we meet. Even beggars, we could be serving angels. Help us with sincere love. No matter what they think of us, may I repent of that and with the love of God to profit them. One day that will come back to me and my children running over. Help us to be witnesses of this. To be, to have the blessings of popularity. May our lives say amen to that. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen.